Okay, in this video, we want to factor this expression right here. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has different strategies that you can use to factor, and the other playlist has a collection of problems. And in this particular problem, I'm going to solve this mentally using trial and error approach. So let's begin. So here we have a 6x squared. Now there's a couple of ways to get 6x squared. You know, x times 6x, 2x times 3x. And so that's why this process is called trial and error. And so I'm just going to try something. It could be right, it could be wrong. I'm going to say 2x and 3x. But again, it could be 6x and 1x. Then I need to get negative 12. And there's again, multiple ways to get negative 12. 1 times negative 12 and the reverse, meaning 12 times negative 1, 2 times negative 6 and the reverse, 3 times negative 4 and the reverse. So again, it's a pretty lengthy trial and error, unless you're lucky. So I don't know, let's just try something like plus 2 and uh, negative 3. Again, with actual practice, you'll be able to spot it where it's not going to be random guessing. Um, but if I take a 2x and I multiply by 2, I get 4x. I take 3x, I multiply by negative 3, I get negative 9x. And negative 9x plus 4x is going to be negative 5x, not x. So this method is incorrect. Again, with practice, you know, right away when I put 2 and negative 3, I would have seen this really quickly. I don't have to each time write it down. Okay, so next we can try something else. So here I have an x. Um, let's try uh, plus 3 and a negative 4. Again, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And let's try if this method works. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. 3x times 3 is 9x. 9x minus 8x is in fact positive x. So this right here is the final answer. Now if you wanted to check, you could expand. So you could take 2x times 3x and you would get 6x squared. You could take 2x times negative 4 and you would get negative 8x. You could take 3 times 3x and you would get positive 9x. You could take 3 times negative 4 and you would get negative 12. And if you notice, negative 12 matches. 6x squared matches, and negative 8x plus 9x is in fact positive x. And so this is correct.